okay? That's it. Any more, Marie might have gone down alone without us. I'm sorry, Teddy. I did my best. The Marcos are better than that. The Marcos are perfect. I'll do better tomorrow. There was wind today. There's wind every day. You work in spite of it. He shouldn't do that. Well, we sure taught him better. It's his affair. He's got his own license now. Now, well, just the same, I think we ought to talk to him. I think maybe he's nervous. Things didn't go too well today. Things went fine. It's just like that some days. Marie, starting tomorrow, I think you and Teddy better do your own flying. This hovering is kind of a tricky business. It takes a lot of practice. He doesn't want me to work alone yet. He's upset about something I do. Okay, if you still want me to handle it, I'll do it. Should I go with her? Yeah, maybe you better, honey. He's pretty rough on her. Wonder what's wrong with that character. No, I don't know. Maybe it's the kind of work he does. It is nerve-wracking. How'd you like to do that stuff up there? I mean, he knows that they can't afford to make even one mistake. Well, that could be the reason. You know, Marie's really scared of him. Yeah. I don't think I like him. You know, I think maybe all aerialists are high-strung. Well, if that's what it takes, he must be the best in the business. <laughs> She's lying down now. Good. He's quite a man. Well, what do you think? What do I think? I think he's liable to kill both of them. Not because of what he does in the trapeze, but the way he flies that copter. He cuts things too fine. We'll see. How soon before you'll be able to show your new act? A few more days. Marie's got to practice more. She certainly looked professional to me. You know, it just takes one mistake up there. Only perfection keeps you alive. Helen, where are the Marcos? Why aren't they working on their act? Oh, Teddy came in right after you left on that freight job. Took the copter up alone. Said he had some things he wanted to try out. Oh. Have you got that bill for him? Oh, yes. It's right here. Well, that's cheap enough for teaching them both how to fly and chauffeuring them while they were working up their act. I think we'd better give it to them today. I don't understand what happened to Teddy. Do you suppose something's wrong? Well, what time did he say he'd be back? Half an hour ago. I'm worried. That's a quick way to die. One sudden down draft and pow. It's exciting, though. Make a great act. He's always that way. Nothing's too dangerous. Ready to go to work, Marie? Yes, Teddy. I'll help me get the equipment on. We'll do the ground pickups. 
Say, I take it a little easy flying around the field here. Chuck, we'll do our own flying today. We might as well get used to the way we'll be working. Look at this. Green paint. He must have hit something. That guy's out of his mind. Imagine skimming anything close enough to take paint off. Do you want to give Teddy the bill now? Yeah. I think we'd better before he kills himself. Hey, you can take your time with this. There's no hurry. Pay you right now? Check it if you want. It's already been counted. Teddy, I didn't know. I borrowed a little money. Almost four o'clock. How about leaving on that freighting job? Yeah. I want to try the carburetor first. Just the idle part, will you? Yeah. A little faster, PT. How's that, Chuck? Try it a little slower. That's it. Let's have a sandwich before we go. I'm hungry. Good idea. Start that carnival date tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Helen wants to go. Why don't we all go? We can close up shop. After all, the Marcos have been our prized pupils. Let's get that sandwich. BT, have you read the story of the armored truck holdup? Yeah. If you're going to rob an armored truck, how would you do it? Well, I'd. Well, in the first place, the two guys inside are locked in and they're armed. Yeah, but in this case, the two men inside were dead, and they hadn't used their guns. Yeah, that sounds kind of funny. They got the money, and there weren't any tracks. Well, maybe some guy robbed it and then shoved it over the cliff. But the two guards inside, dead from the crash, and the guns weren't out of their holsters. Well, then maybe someone shoved it over the cliff, killing the guards, and then went down and got the money. How? There weren't any tracks near the truck. Well, the Marcos are off for the carnival. Hey, how dumb can I get? With a helicopter. With a copter, you could force the truck off the road, go down and land on it, get the money, take off. Presto, no tracks. Well, the Marcos are paying off the balance on the helicopter. He asked me to mail his cashier's check. They're paying off the helicopter? In full. They paid us. In full. I'd like to get some information, please. I'd like to find out what color your armored trucks are. I see. They're all that color, including the one that was wrecked and robbed. Thank you very much. What color? Green.
both wrong. We're not making any accusations, honey. Well, why would Teddy do anything like that? Why would anyone do anything like that? Money, thrills, trying to figure out a perfect crime? There are lots of reasons. But Teddy has everything. He's good looking, he has a fine act, he'll make lots of money. He always has. I told you, we weren't making any accusations. We know all the reasons why he didn't do it or why he wouldn't do it. The question is, did he do it? There's the fairgrounds. We won't say anything more about this, huh? Don't worry. I won't tell Teddy or Marie. Frankly, Helen, I hope you're right. I see the Marcos copter. I suppose I should land in the same area. Yeah, might be a good idea. They do know we're coming, don't they? Oh, yes. I told Teddy. He was delighted. Chuck, P.T. and Helen. They ask if they could come. I wonder what they want. They wanted to see the actor wish us luck. We'll do all right. Crowd here. Oh, it is. Twice what they had on opening day last year. How soon do you go on? Pretty soon. Teddy's getting things ready now. Oh, we come over and wish you luck. Yeah, give a good show. Thanks. It's always tough breaking in a new act. Is it time? Well, they'll fire the gun any minute now. As soon as the barker is the crowd warmed up for us, they fire a small cannon as the signal. We'll watch right around in here. I can give you a passage to the grandstand. Oh, it'd be much more exciting from here. I brought a picnic lunch. Whatever you like. He's always that way before we go on. Stand clear. the lunch.
What's Chuck doing? I don't know. Whatever it is, he's missing a good show. Yes, sir. We'll wait here. Well, I've sent for the police. Well, what is it, Chuck? Come on, I'll show you. Still on the bank, sack. I can't believe it. Who wants to believe it? Really not much choice. They love it, Teddy. I can hear the cheers. Sure, they love it. The way they see the flying I'm gonna do. The drop and pick up. You take the controls. I'll do the first drop and pick up. got to pay for them. There's no other way. You heard what I said. Come near me and I'll ram you. Teddy, what about Marie? She's your sister. Why kill her? Well, you think about that and go back. Go back. Don't follow. If you want Marie to stay alive, go back. Talk to Teddy. Make him stop. 
stop. This is no good. Convincing to land. Teddy, think. Don't do this. Listen to reason, Teddy. Why kill us all? It doesn't make sense. You're smart. You can only die once, but why take Marie with you? She hasn't done anything to you. Teddy. Oh, Teddy, I'm sorry. Something's happened to Teddy. He slumped over. That cop is out of control. Marie, you're out of control. Marie, take over. You're out of control. Marie? Marie, take over the controls. You know how to fly. I can't until he's leaving out of the control. Listen, Adi, get him off the control as best you can. It's your only chance. <laughs> Flying right along beside you. Fine, fine. Now cut down on the throttle just a little bit. Now we're going to make a left turn. Real slow and easy. Left foot. Let's take her on in. Let down your collective very slowly. Thanks, Marie. You saved our lives. He's my brother. Well, there's one thing all this proved, Chuck. What's that? We sure know how to teach people to fly. We sure do. Almost good enough to kill us.